Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. This is interesting for me to be doing the intro today. Come on with it, Pastor. <laughs> you can do this so, thing. I'm just going to say a few words and we're going to move right into today's message. For the last three weeks, we've been talking about different things. And last week, we talked about increasing your faith. Mm. The week before that, we talked about finances. Uh -huh. All of these things biblically, right? And then the first week, we talked about joy, maintaining our joy, and not just being happy based on what was happening, but still being able to have joy. On the inside. Yes. Mm. So this evening, we're going to be discussing relationships. Just something real short and sweet, but also to be able to give you all a practical application, how you can apply it. You ready, Pastor? I am ready. want to say that these messages were geared towards you finishing up your 2023 affairs. Yeah. Uh, there's some ways that you were encumbered by sadness mm. and a relentless chase after what you've not done right and so it made you sad and so we wanted to talk to you about having joy, the ability to overcome your circumstances yes. and we told you the difference between being happy and joyous and we promoted both but more intention and intention and attention on joy remember yes. that and we talked about finances because we wanted your finances to get caught up to the level in which you wanted them to be again we're closing out a year and entering into a new year yes. and we felt like it was important for us to get the practical matters of our lives together talked about faith yes amen, and how to have it and faith come by what hearing, hearing and hearing by the word of god and yes. we discussed that even when you continue to hear things if it's not lining up with the word of god or not come on pastor you're going to believe them and so we encourage you to hear the right things so that you can believe the right things. Yeah. And then finally, we're breaking it down in a relationship category because we believe, Pastor, don't we, that each relationship that we have mm -hmm. is important. Yes, absolutely. Each relationship we have shapes who we are. Yeah. It shapes our character, Come which on. is how others regard us. And it shakes our, shapes our inner or our inner integrity, yes. which is who we are when no one is looking. I promise you, who you associate with, mm. you also tend to assimilate. Amen. The old folks used to say that a lot. And I am now old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. looking. I'm older than him. <laughs> but I know what it means now is where I was going with that. Amen. Amen. I know what it means now. Who you associate with. There's an assimilation there. There's a taking on of character yeah. there. And so we wanted to promote today relationships. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. As we draw to a close of this year. Yeah. So Amen. let's do it, Pastor. I, 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 yeah, we're going to get right into it, Pastor. I just want to say this real what quick. What you want to say, baby? I would like to, to highlight when you say relationships. Yeah, okay. When we look at the word relationships there are so many different relationships absolutely that are involved right we have the husband and the wife that is a relationship mm -hmm. we have siblings that is a relationship. relationship for those who have siblings we have mother and father mm. relationship with their children yeah it's relationship you have friendships mm -hmm. it's a relationship yeah. you have mentor mentee uh -huh. it's a relationship yeah. you have coaches and, and, and teams or coaches and one-on-one, -on -one, it's relationship. Mm -hmm. You have 
communities that come together. It's relationships. relationships. So And you even have enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you got enemies. A few of you have enemies. And even then, we need to know how to have relationship with them. Now you say, well, Pastor, how can you have a relationship with an enemy? Right. Well, see, that is involvement with them. That's interaction with them. And we want you to know what God wants you to do as it relates to enemies. Mm. Amen? What relationship, what is your behavior that God wants your behavior to be like while dealing with an enemy? Yeah. Oh, it's relationships, baby. It's all over the place. All over the it's place. It's not just a, a girl and boy. You follow what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's humanity relating to humanity. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought of the scripture when you said your enemy, and instantly the word came to Come me. Come on. Says, Bless your enemies, do good unto them, and to pray for them. So now, what despitefully you should go right now. Mm. So go with us to the Hard book of to Proverbs. Do. The Old Testament, chapter 27, verse 17. This is taken from the King James translation, and it reads in this manner, Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. And we've had this, right? Mm -hmm. When we look at the New Testament, 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, voice, I said voice, <laughs> verses 4 through 7, reads, Charity suffereth long, or your translation may say, Love suffereth long, mm -hmm. and is kind. Charity, which is still love, envieth not. Mm. Charity, love, vaunteth not itself, mm -hmm. is not puffed up. So when we look at these two two different passages, one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament, yeah. when we think about, well, what is the practical application that I can apply here for relationships? Mm -hmm. Well, we can invest time in nurturing positive and mutually beneficial relationships. I want to say that again. Yeah. We can invest time in nurturing positive and mutually beneficial relationships. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we are having relationships or we're in relationships with people, mm -hmm. friendships, sisterhood, brotherhood, um, pastoral congregation. All of these are considered as a form of some type of relationship. But here's the thing. When we are not investing time in nurturing a positive relationship in mm -hmm. the relationships that we interact with when we are when the the beneficial of the relationships is not mutual mm -hmm. we need to take a look at that and i'm not saying because we always want to remember that when we give and when we do we're doing it unto the lord mm -hmm. but if you're not benefiting anything watch this from a nurturing perspective that is positive, that's going to push you to where God would have you to go, what is the point? Mm. Well, you might say, well, I, I have um, siblings, or I have a, a, a parent or a child who's very toxic. That may be so. I'm not saying to walk away from them. I'm saying give them what they need biblically from God's word and keep it moving. But sometimes we allow ourselves to stay stuck mm -hmm. in environments, in relationships that aren't beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. They cause more hurt and pain and damage to us than they do of encouragement, inspiring, and lifting up, and being lifted up. And that's why it's so imperative that we stay connected to the word of God, that we stay connected to the vine. He says, what? I am the vine, you are the branches. branches. He who abides in me and I am him shall bear much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. So a lot of times we're doing things in our strength, mm -hmm. but it's not from the strength of God. So be encouraged when we look at nurturing positive, mutually beneficial relationships. Mm -hmm. We need to practice love in our relationships. Mm -hmm. You want to say something past No, me? keep going. Baby. We need to practice Good. kindness in our relationships. Yes. We need to practice patience in our relationships. Yes. Uh, patience is long suffering, right? <laughs> and we need to always be able to seek reconciliation and forgiveness mm -hmm. when and where it's needed. Being mindful that we want to foster an environment of support and encouragement. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. How Hallelujah. Can we, how can we do uh, some of that practically in relationships we have? So when there's a um, a relationship between um, parent mm -hmm. and, and child, whether your parent is older and you're an adult child or whether you are 
an adult child mm -hmm. with younger children. Yeah. Either way, it's the relationship. Yeah. Each of those relationships between the two, if the parents are older and the child is older now, there still needs to be a respect. Come on. There still needs to be a practice of kindness. Come on. And a practice of patience. Yes. You know, sometimes the parent is older in age and doesn't understand yeah. as much. And that requires for the child to be more patient yes. with the parent. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get frustrated with our parents and we start talking to them in a demeaning tone mm. or an irritated tone. And it's because the lack of understanding of where they may be That's in good. this time That's frame good. of their lives and where you all might be at the time at that moment. And it just might have a better understanding of something. Yeah. And you have less patience to explain it to the parent. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. The yeah. parent has less patience to explain it to the yeah. child. Yeah. You know, or if it's a relationship that's friends, if you're just friends, if you got a, a girlfriend mm -hmm. or I got a homie or a, 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 a buddy of mine, you know what I mean? We mm -hmm. want to nourish those relationships. Yeah, we absolutely. want to reconcile those areas that are uh, negatively affected by our actions, yes, right? Yes. And, and sometimes you can't even go further in a friendship relationship until you make right the wrong. Yeah. You yeah. follow me? Sometimes we try to move on and and, and gloss over our lack mm -hmm. or gloss over our um, uh, transgressions towards our friends and stuff like that. Yeah. And we try to gloss over it and keep moving with the person. Yeah. Doesn't happen like that. Yeah. You no. have to go back and you have to make sure that you cause the relationship to be beneficial by the reconciliation and forgiveness that yeah. we just spoke of. Yes. You follow me? Yes. That's an element that's practical in relationships as far as it relates to friends. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And Amen. so there are different areas. We just chose a few to mention tonight. And so we are hoping that you take this season mm. of your life of developing, of enhancing yeah. your relationships that you take inside of that organization of ideas that you have and you implement inside of it nurture positive relationships mutually benefit re beneficial relationships right yes sir that you practice love that you practice kindness that you employ and practice patience yeah, yeah, right yeah. seek reconciliation and forgiveness where it's needed yeah why because that fosters the environment of support and encouragement. Yeah, yeah. Don't and, and Pastor, we can't leave out marriage. <laughs> that is a relationship. But I want to go back just to give a, to insert a scripture to remind us that when you talked about the parent-child relationship or parent-adult-child yeah. relationship, here's the thing: that if we would take the word of God and let it take root in our heart, that when these things come up right whatever these things are this teaching um when you go out to hear somebody minister you listen to somebody's podcast when we have the word of god deeply rooted inside of us that whatever comes up and what we know about god and his word when we rightly divide it that it's going to remind us so when you talked about the parent adult child relationship immediately the scripture that came to me was honor thy father and thy mother that thou days may be long upon this earth. There has to be an honor. And so I like when you use that, that we have to be patient. That is a part of honoring, right? It is. And that's it what is. I wanted to say. And I want to uh, be public about something. I, um, I understand that we're teaching you and, and we're learning as well uh, these different uh, ideologies, which is a system of ideas surrounding different things. And tonight we're talking about relationships. Yeah. And so I am convicted in my spirit and in my heart because I know that I could do better at the relationships that I have. And so mm -hmm. one of my goals Amen. for 2024 is to enhance my relationships, right? I am more of a individual person, more of a loner type of personality, and I don't reach out as much. So again, even though it may be difficult for my personality to do, 
I realize that what we're teaching tonight is vital. And so it is my commitment that I make to enhance those relationships starting now. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do the my due diligence and effort to at least get a microgram higher than what I am now. Because I'm telling you, you might be laughing at my microgram, but that's a whole lot better than zero. Amen. Amen. All right. And if you have some areas that you need to do better at, live chat it in the in the thing so we can pray with yes. you and for you amen yeah and if you feel the need to do so then you make your investment tonight in deciding what you will be doing better at as it relates to relationships yeah. who do you need to get closer to mm -hmm. who do you need to separate from just Ooh. think of those things tonight as you close with us this year of 2023 amen 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 goes right there if you have been encouraged by today's message shout amen type amen amen we amen. hoping that you caught the <laughs> value that we gave on relationships tonight and we are encouraging you to join us on sunday and monday where we'll be covering relationship one more time on monday and you know what we cover on monday that's right <laughs> marriage. marriage that's right it's gonna be real short that's right. So come back and just join us and uh, and just grow with us as we grow. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, listen again. Hope you caught the value because we did and we always give the value because we love, love you. But, but more, more importantly, importantly, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. See you soon. Blessings.